Guten Tag aus Frankfurt. After four long years, we are back here at Leiden building. The show has been postponed two times because of COVID and we're really happy it's happening now. Once again, we are scanning the boots, looking for novelties, so you don't have to. Leiden building is by far the biggest and the most important show in KNX. It's been going on since 2000 and happens every second year. All the big names from the KNX industry are here and many, many integrators and distributors from all over the world travel here to see the novelties and to conclude the deals for the year ahead. Leiden building normally happens in March, but this year it's been postponed to October, not to miss another episode. Now this year we decided not to expose the top products like we did in the integrated system report, but rather tour the boots that we find the most compelling. Let's go. Now we're starting the tour with the always beautifully designed and awesome Gira boot. And um, yeah, Gira has really dropped the bomb this year with many, many novelties presented. And um, we see they really put a lot of effort into really simplifying the process of doing a Canix smart home. And um, let's talk about it with Marco Strelov, the sales manager for Southern, Eastern and Central Europe. Let's go find him. Hi, we're here with Marco from Gira. Hi, Marco. Hi, nice to see you, finally. Uh, a lot has passed since the last show, like four years, and it's nice to be back. And uh, how does it feel and what is your aim for the show? So here we are after four and a half years. It's been so long. Let me tell you, at Gira, we were so nervous on Sunday when we started. How many guests will come? Will people come? Are they interested? How will the interaction be? So we were very, very curious. Let me tell you, after a few days, we are so happy, so relieved. So all is perfect. It couldn't be better. If you're happy, we're happy as well. Now, Gira has really dropped a bump at this show with all the novelties presented. And we see a lot of effort is being put into making the planning process and the installing process of Canix Smart Home uh, more easier, more efficient. And um, if you had to highlight one thing, one product, what would it be? And can you maybe demonstrate a little bit? So here we are. I'm not highlighting one product. I'm highlighting a new system. So we at Gira have a new smart home system and the system is called One. So basically we're at one product again, but no, it's one system, like I just said. So what's the idea? Gira uses the KNX standard system as a system for smart home solutions. And now we've developed a system on KNX basis where you do not need the ETS to program it. So there are no special skills required to program this system. How do we do it? Very quickly explained. The Gira One system uses existing devices that we have in the KNX system uh, for this new system and it's programmed only with the GPA, with the Gira Programming Assistant. So there's no need, like I just already said, of special knowledge or, or something. You just buy the devices, install them, and then very quickly you can upload them into your system by using a QR code. So very unique, very easy. And then the system tells you exactly where are you, how many rooms do you have, how should they be connected. So it's basically smart home for everybody. So basically now my kid can do it. Huh? Basic, <laughs> so I don't know your kid, <laughs> but let me tell you something. My son's 11, he could do it. <laughs> okay, uh, last question. Uh, the way we do business has drastically transformed during the pandemics. Now a lot more is being done remote by, uh, by now. So. With that in mind, uh, do you feel like there's more people or less people like compared to the last show? And also, has the Jira strategy changed drastically during the pandemic? That's a complicated question. I'll try to answer it as universal as I can. Are there less people here at the trade fair this year? Yes. Why is that so? Okay, we're still at the end of the pandemic, if you want, or in the middle, nobody really knows. Then we have a crisis in some parts of the world where traveling is a little bit stressful in the moment as well. So you have to take that into consideration. Of course, in the last years, we learned to become more digital, to show products, to explain products in a digital way. But nothing, nothing, nothing can come up with meeting in person, showing, talking, touching, um, really understanding a system. So at the end, meeting people in person, that's the most important thing. Couldn't agree more. Well, I'm all out of questions. Marco, thank you for having us and good luck with the show. Thanks a lot, my friend.
Just a few steps away from the Jira stand, we find another design powerhouse, Basalt. Uh, now we've already featured their mirror remote in our ISC report, but this time they've given us a really slick intercom aimed at large residential buildings. Let's take a closer look. We are joined by Domin from Basalt. Hi, Domin. Hi. Now, everybody knows Basalt is excellent design-wise, but what about the technical side of your ecosystem? How does everything work together? Well, first of all, it's true that we have a design solution for the intelligent home. But the thing is, we want to make sure that all the technology works together. And how do we do that? We have our own server to incorporate all those technical systems, if it's in door phone, if whether it's, it's scenes, lighting, even music, we want to have everything in one app. And um, that's actually done by our server. So we have a very powerful server, which includes not only security cameras, all the KNX lighting, shades, thermostats, but also um, your intercom. And we've now de designed our own intercom. We'll come to that later. Um, and we want to have everything in a nice design, of course, with, with, with uh, our own displays, with our own nice looking switches made out of uh, aluminium and brass and centralize everything in one app. That's, that's the most important thing, I, I, I guess, because we want everything from your house in one app instead of having to look around on your phone for five or more different apps. We want to make it intuitive. We want to make it one coherent story, coherent system. I think that's awesome and it's the right way to go. And now, like you mentioned earlier, you've given us what I believe is the best looking intercom on the market. So yeah. can you tell me a, a little bit more about that? Yeah, we have five key features on the door phone. First of all, it has to be nice looking. So we bring the, the, the nice finishes of our products from the inside now to the outside. We have um, solved the issue with the cameras. We have two cameras built inside. The first camera is a selfie camera to have a FaceTime experience. So we have a good overview from, for who is at the door. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a modular design, so we can incorporate e-key finger scanner, um, batch readers, um, lights. So you have a, a very modular system and it all integrates with our Basalt home system to have everything in one app, like, I, uh, like I've explained to you. Um, and um, another thing is, yeah, the display. Uh, there is a display on the front, so the person that rings the door can see himself and uh, instead of having no clue where to look, so he can make sure that he's in a nice picture. So not only beautiful, but nice character as well. And uh, for the last question, uh, we cannot ignore the fact that Basalt has raised an additional round of financing with your EMH partner. So yeah. how come you decided for this step? And does this mean that you have some serious plans for the short term future? We're always serious for the future. So uh, what we want to do with EMH, um, they invested a significant amount of money in our company. But we want to make what we actually want to do is to create visibility. It's the right moment. We've been expanding exponentially almost. Um, things are going very well. But to have that extra boost, that kickstart, it's always nice and helpful to have some extra budget. And that's exactly what AMH is doing for us. Well, that's it from our side. Thank you for joining the Talking Smart Home podcast again. And uh, good luck with the fair. And I cannot wait to see what comes from Basalt in the future. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm excited as well. Now, one of the companies that always goes an extra mile is also Divus, our friends from Southern Tyrol. Four years ago, they used this exact same spot to launch their Red Dot Award awarded Circle Door Phone. And this year they're back with an updated design and a bit more affordable price point. We are here with Federico from Divus. Hi Federico. Hi. Uh, nice to see you again. <laughs> yeah, nice to see you too. Nice to be also back in, in Light and Building after a, a long time, isn't it? And um, it feels like for, forever from since when you launched the Circle intercom in 2018 but now you have a new upgrade and can you tell us more about it and also what is the strategy for this kind of products in Divus for the coming years okay um, well first of all yes uh, it's been it seems it seems to have been forever for this and we are happy to to be back on here and to show our products the circle has some novelties especially so the 
let's say this is the the father of the circle family and so the the main uh, the main update the main uh, new things are uh, the cloud access for mobile devices so it is now possible to have two communications one locally with the panels we use which also work as uh, internal intercom devices and in parallel you can now have also your mobile devices connected over the cloud and uh, we introduced a new version of the circle which uses not the black glass which is very nice and which people like and are attracted to our stand for that but we use we have we introduced also a version which is uh, using uh, Korean so Korean introduces the possibility to have a lot of different uh, versions of Korean it's a very nice material which looks natural although it isn't and uh, it it has most of the functionality of of the glass version but it maybe is more appropriate for certain buildings for certain situations so we are presenting that one and you can see it maybe later we go there you can see all the different versions here exposed good job guys i mean it looks great uh, but this is not the only novelty you're presenting here right because you also have the new touch screen with integrated server and with Kenix data secure so can you tell us maybe a little bit more about that also yes this is the divus Kenix iq we are very happy with this new product uh, it won a, a Kenix award recently just a few days ago it's the first panel wall mounted panel to also support Kenix secure data secure so you have an all-in-one device which uh, allows to uh, control your Kenix installation and at the same time you have the possibility to use it as an internal intercom device to integrate um, also IP cameras, so security cameras and it's completely made by Divo. so this means both the hardware and the applications are developed by us and this gives us a nice possibility to to get feedback by customers and to integrate new things and to also solve issues when they come up which is obviously very much harder if you if you rely on third-party apps and yeah i mean uh, we can i can give you a brief uh, overview if you want to yeah, yeah. have a look to see how the application looks it's very easy to control it's very fast uh, you move inside the rooms you have the elements you can command them from here or you can go one uh, level deeper and have all the controls this is for nice. example for a, a tunable white light so of course you have the on off you have the, the dimmer and you have the temperature and you can say okay i like this combination of of brightness and and temperature i'm going to store it so now this is protected uh, so this also means you can protect everything so if this is something uh, you don't want your kids to mess with then you can protect it by a pin code and so only you will be able to to command it uh, so i repeat it because maybe it, i was not clear before this is a server and a, a controlling device at the same time this means you can have the same visualization on other panels maybe you like a big panel also the app and and also you can have it on your mobile devices this means uh, for sure you will have it on your smartphone you can have it on, ta on tablets and and control it from there using the cloud this means you are independent from wherever you are you will always have uh, uh, all the control of your home one one tap or one touch away so well, congratulations for the award and it looks re really, really nice user interface and... Um, Thank you. Last question, you know, COVID has transformed a lot of businesses from offline to online. And in that light, how do you see fairs like this in the future? And um, has your company strategy changed because of this in the recent years? 
Well, we tried to adapt, of course, uh, when we were uh, bound to our homes or to our offices and couldn't meet in person other people. Uh, we tried to adapt in organizing webinars. And I think in general, our sector got used to communicate over webinars, which in part is, is something good. But then again, for sure, you are missing the, the human contact and, and meeting people in person and having a drink together after the, after the business talk. So we missed fairs for sure. And we are, we are happy they are back. And uh, fairs are, are important for us. So we missed this fair and we are happy to be back and we are happy to see people. For sure, the level is not exactly the same we had for the pandemic, but uh, we needed to, to start somewhere, and so we are here. And uh, yeah, I think they they will surely remain important for us affairs. So we will be here, and we will be happy to talk and meet people in person. We'll be here as well, and yeah, it's nice to do some business and have some fun as well as you do it. So. Thank you, Federico, for your answers uh, and your demonstration. And uh, we wish you good luck with the fair and uh, good luck with your products. And um, see you on the next fair. Thanks to you for the interview. Thank you, guys. Thank you, all the ones seeing or listening to the podcast. And uh, if you want to visit us, we are here until tomorrow or otherwise through our website and or just call us up and we can get in touch. Bye, thank you. Bye bye. The next booth that we are interested in is this mega huge Snyder stand. A global player and a regular attendee here at Leiden Building. We're really happy they decided to join our podcast this year and um, let's go see what they have in store for us. So we're here at the beautiful Schneider booth here in Leiden building with Annika from Schneider. And Annika, hello first. Um, the first thing that caught our eye is the modular push buttons from, from Schneider, which actually allow the customer or the end user to actually do the reconfiguration of the buttons after they have moved into the house or the apartment. So can you please tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, sure. So we have a modular building concept with this push button. Um, you can buy the universal module and have up to uh, 60 different combination of the rockets you can position. So if you have a change during a project or after the customer moved in, you just need to switch the rockets, um, change the configuration in the ETS and you have um, a complete new push button without need to buy a new one. And this is really important because like that happens all the time. Like the KNX plan and the end situation is never the same. So thank you for this answer. And the second question is, okay, so we know that Schneider has the KNX system on one hand, and that then you also have the visor system on the other hand. But now we heard that you merge those two systems into like a hybrid solution. So can you maybe tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, yeah, sure. So we have our uh, Wiser for KNX logic controller for several years now, and uh, we now build a hybrid module. We can integrate um, or attach to the Wiser for KNX, and then integrate the whole Wiser portfolio into the KNX system. This is really good. Okay, now let's go search for Jurgen so he can maybe explain a little bit more about the Wiser. Huh? Sure. Let's go. Okay, so we're now joined by Jurgen. Hi, Jurgen. Hi. Uh, and he's going to explain a bit more about Visor. Now, we know that Visor is based on Zigbee, but we heard rumors that it might get Meta support shortly. So is there any truth in that? Yes, this is sure. This is uh, correct. And the new hub, the Generation 2, is Meta ready and means uh, we are competitive for the new smart home versions and you can connect more Meta devices on our own system. Yeah. Great, let's retrofit with Schneider. Uh, well, thank you, Jurgen. Thank you, Annika, for all your answers, for your time. And I wish you great success in the show and see you in the next fair. Yeah, thank you for your time. Thank you. Next on the list, Wimmer, an Italian company that started out with switches and push buttons but is now moving more aggressively into smart home market and security market as well. Now we know based on our experience that full-on lighting automation based on presence is easier said than done. 
But now Wimmer has provided a solution that might radically improve this process. So let's check it out. We are here with Matteo Pagotto, the product manager of Wimmer. Hi, Matteo. Hi, all. We think you might have launched a revolution in presence detection. So can you tell us more about your amazing line of radar-based sensors? Yes. Um, maybe we are the first or not, but we think this is uh, a good product because uh, it can detect uh, the real presence and not the presence um, made by the movement. So we have the, the solution for uh, for um, mounting it on the wall and also the ceiling solution that all, that has also the uh, the capability to detect uh, if a person uh, has fallen down on the floor. It, this solution is studied for. Um, for energy saving, for example, in in hotel rooms, or for the residential uh, market for uh, assisted living applications. Wow, this is amazing functionality. What about price positioning of this sensor? Um, the price is a little bit uh, uh, higher than a, a standard sensor, but we think that these features uh, can justify the this positioning. I would pay more for this product. So with the COVID scare kind of gone, the fares are back. So can you maybe tell our viewers where you will be exhibiting next so they can come and check out your cool products? Okay, okay. <laughs> maybe the, the, the COVID uh, uh, scare are, uh, are gone, but the COVID still remains in Italy. <laughs> I mean, um, you can find this uh, in, uh, in our next fairs. You can find the first, the entire list of the first, in our website. And sure, we will uh, we will exhibit and we will try to push oh, this year, the next year, because we uh, think that is a, a good product. <laughs> well, Matteo, thank you for all the answers, and we wish you good luck with your new products. And we cannot wait to try it out in real life. You're welcome. Thank you. I hope it will be uh, a success for us. Thank you. And that's it. Once again, we were amazed by the show here in Messe Frankfurt and all the novelties presented. Thank you for all the exhibitors for having us and thank you for watching. Follow us on the socials, subscribe to our channels and of course, see you in the next episode of Talking Smart Homes. Auf Wiedersehen.